In this video, we will discuss reviewing and editing quarter sections. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 1006 review and edit quarter sections DWG located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. Quarter modeling gets you 85 to 90% where you need to be for your design. And then you can use the section editor to review and edit any sections that you want. To get to the section editor, simply select your quarter model and go to the section editor option in the modify quarter sections panel. To maximize my screen, I'm going to actually auto hide the tool space. And you'll notice immediately what you're presented with. You have a plan, profile, and section view of your quarter model. Notice how the contextual tab section editor has appeared, which will give you feedback and allow you to manipulate any of the sections and zoom to those sections if need be. So first, let's talk about the display options. If you look on the bottom right here and bottom left here, I've got the profile and the section view. If I don't need, let's say the profile section, I can turn it off if I want to. In the view tools, any of the viewing configurations or settings that you see here can all be edited. I'll go to the viewport configuration and what I'll do is I'll actually set this to two horizontal and all I want is plan and section. And then click OK. And just like that, I now have a nice wide screen to show all my sectioning. I can also define how I want the grid to display. As I peruse my model here, you'll notice that nothing is appearing. One thing to make note of is to actually look at your baselines and offsets to make sure that you're on the correct baseline. So right now I need to be on this second one here because that one is actually going to show me the existing road as well as the existing baseline that I've developed here. I'll just keep clicking next until I see my actually sections appear. And then just like that, you now have all the offset elevation symbols as well as all the pavement depth and so on that we see. If let's say the grid is a little congested in your view and you want to turn it off, or you want to set any of the settings, the display options, I can go to the view edit options in the view tools panel. Notice how you can set a scale. You can rebuild on edit. You can change the front and clip planes because what's actually happening is with this section editor, it's actually zooming down to this location in your quarter model and using a certain code set style to display it. And it's defining some front and back clipping planes so you don't see the rest of your drawing. You can also define the grid. So let's say I don't want the horizontal grid or the vertical grid. I'll set those to no. You can also define what you want the text to be, as well as any kind of code set style that you want to apply. So there is already a predefined view dash edit code set style, which turns all the shading and all the other settings for the links, points, and shapes to be a certain way to make it easier for section editing. I'll click OK. And just like that, I now have my own nice view of my model. To actually select a station to peruse to, I'll go ahead and click on the specify station and planet profile view. And I'll pick over here and let's say I just pick some random station right here. Notice how nothing's appearing. The reason nothing is appearing is because I had selected the wrong baseline. So let's go back to the correct baseline and then we'll pick the correct station. All right, so let's go ahead and pick this one here. Now, because this station is actually not a true modeling location, you'll notice that the save intermediate station appears. What this will actually do is it'll actually model at this location when I click save. And now I've got a station at that location, which is actually kind of nice if you want to define a station and then make edits to it afterwards. So one of the other things that you can do is as I navigate through here, I'm going to be looking at my model. You can also change your model afterwards. Well, let's say from station 12 plus 00, zero to the end of our extra turning lane here, I want to actually super elevate the road on the left side because I'm going to put some drainage down in this way. So even though I could have defined super elevation parameters and tried to define different settings in the alignment, I actually want to do this here because that way I can just tell it, hey, start supering at this station and even apply a station range. So let's go ahead and do that. So at this station, 12 plus 00, zero I'm going to select the parameters editor palette. And what this does, this opens up the quarter parameters palette, which allows me to override any of the default settings which are being defined by my quarter model. So what I want to do is select the left side. Notice how they're grouped. And these are all the sub assemblies within each of the different locations here. So that's pretty cool. It segregates them so you can easily navigate to the location you want to edit. I need to edit the left lane slope. So I'll go ahead and pick left underscore lane. And again, that's the name of the subassembly. I'll find the default slope property. And I'm going to change this to positive two. And then right in my view, you'll actually see this update automatically. Now, the only problem right now is that this is only updating in this view 
currently, or this quarter modeling station. So I need to actually apply this to a station range and then the quarter model will update automatically. So I'll keep this located here and I'll select the apply to a station range. Then I can go into my end station and select the pick station button. And then in my plan view, I'll actually navigate to the end location where let's say I'm going to have a catch basin of some sort, or I just want to end this super elevation. I'll click OK here. And just like that, my entire quarter model is rebuilt and automatically showing in that way between that station to station limits. If I zoom in here, you'll see that I actually have the super elevation going in that direction and the label updates as well. If I keep clicking next here, you'll notice that it maintains that and so on. One of the other things that you can do is actually lock down a station. So right now it's zooming to the extent of your sub assemblies. If I zoom into a specific spot, I can click on the zoom to extents drop down and select zoom to an offset and elevation. And now it's locked into there. So if I click next here, notice how it's staying to show me just that location. Also notice the parameters. This is right now telling you it's overriding the default location. If I want to change this back to the default location, I could toggle this off and it would go right back to the default location. I would probably apply that to the station range and all will be back to normal. Once I'm done, I can click the close button right here to close the section editor. And this will put me right back into the plan view with my updated corridor model. Don't forget, any changes made here will automatically update the proposed corridor surface. This concludes this video discussing reviewing and editing quarter sections.